What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak from Safari. So you probably remember those jailbreaks that you can open Safari and jailbreak your device without a computer and so on. We're talking about one of those today. This video is brought to you by AppTrans, a free software that allows you to transfer your applications from a device to another and of course from Android to iOS and so on. Definitely check it out in the link below. You can get it from the iMobi website. There is a free download available. So a couple of days ago our Ponage posted quote, Keep an eye on this. It's my approach at achieving a WebKit Safari based jailbreak for iOS 14. It's highly WIP, which means work in progress, and it does not jailbreak your phone in its current state. But it's completely open source, and a few people tagged me into this. Thank you for tagging me because I didn't know about this. And yeah, it seems to be completely open source here, called Pawn My, and it says iOS 14.5 WebKit Safari based jailbreak made by our Ponage and the Manticore team. The Manticore team is actually a new jailbreak development team. They seem to be trying to develop a new jailbreak for iOS 14.3. At least that's what they were working on a couple of weeks ago. Now they seem to be interested in 14.5 as well. They do seem to be know what they are doing. I have taken place in their Discord a couple of times. And yeah, they are indeed focused on creating a jailbreak. Now they're not the best at it. It's not like the Uncover team or the Turin team, which have a lot of experience behind them. They are a new team, but they do know what they are doing, at least from what I saw. It is likely that they're going to find a lot of hurdles along the way, but they will probably be able to fix them. However, what they talk about in here, a WebKit or Safari based jailbreak, that's actually interesting. You probably remember there was things like jailbreak me or star or whatever, and even the totally not spyware, that was the name of it, which you can access in your browser. You went to a website, for example, jailbreak.me, and you will have a button that said jailbreak. You pressed on it in Safari, and in a couple of seconds, your device was jailbroken. No computer, no IPA files, no tethering, no nothing like that, and no resigning and stuff like that. You just had to go to a website and you will be jailbroken. Yes, those existed. Many of them are fake nowadays and there are some websites right now which profit from the name of Uncover or Torin and so on, saying that of course is the Uncover jailbreak and it basically copies the whole website but replaces the button with jailbreak in here so that you would believe it would jailbreak your device. Those are fake. Uncover and Torin are currently not available as a WebKit jailbreak because they don't use a WebKit exploit. But yeah, our opponent seems to want to create something like that, a real jailbreak for iOS 14.5 and newer. It says in here, current exploit is only for iOS 14.5 and newer, as it exploits a vulnerability in audio worklet. So the WebKit vulnerability that they seem to have is only for iOS 14.5 and newer. But not to worry, you will be able to update the 14.5 from 14.3 if this jailbreak does materialize and we get it. Because iOS 14.5, even though it's no longer signed, it can still be reached with the 90 days bug found by the Cilio Discord. So so it's still possible, as long as you are jailbroken on a lower version, to get the 14.5 if this jailbreak ever gets released. Now they say that they are using a WebKit based vulnerability here. Now iOS 14.5 does patch as well a couple of WebKit vulnerabilities. You can see there are a couple here, a WebKit, WebKit, WebKit and so on. Now I'm not sure if they are using any of this here, but iOS 14.6 also patches quite a few of them. So if you go ahead all the way down here, there is this WebKit vulnerability, there is this one here, this one here and so on. So there are many many of them which is nice because it means that there is a lot of material to work with. Looking at the code, it's actually what they say in here, highly work in progress. This is not going to jailbreak your device as it is right now. They have the server.js here and then most importantly the GS folder and exploit.js which they have this here. So that's pretty much what they have for the moment but as they say here, keep an eye on it. It's not complete yet and it's probably going to take a while before it gets completed but if they do complete it, this is going to be a pretty major jailbreak because the last jailbreak that worked in WebKit or Safari was what? iOS 11, iOS 10, something like that. So this would be pretty good. It would be very interesting to see what they're going to do and especially what vulnerabilities they will use. Now since this is open source, it is likely that it would be usable in order to update Uncover or Torin. So if you're not a fan of newer jailbreaks like the Manticore, though you should probably give it a chance once it gets released, then developers are probably going to be able to update Uncover and Torin to work directly from the WebKit or from Safari. So this is pretty interesting research, I would definitely keep an eye on it, and especially I would keep an eye on the Manticore team. They seem to be knowing what they're doing, and even though they don't have a lot of experience, they seem to be pretty dedicated to what they're doing, so definitely keep an eye on them, especially for this WebKit stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out!